Previously we've seen how you can use the private visibility in order to hide things inside of a class from the outside world. So your implementation details and definitely anything that's mutable should typically be hidden away so that outside code you know, can't do stuff that it really shouldn't be allowed to. There's another visibility setting that's not used nearly as much and should not be used as much called protected. Now, we actually created in a previous video a perfect example of where we might consider having protected here. Um, in fact, let's follow our suggestion of things that we pass to the super type, probably should not be vowels or vars. But we have this problem here that we can't set the width and the height. Well, width and height are private. And it turns out that subtypes can't see things that are private, just like nothing else can see stuff that's private. If something is listed as private, the only code that can see it is the code inside of that class or in a companion object. But there are some situations where you want to be able to see and access things inside of subclasses that really shouldn't be generally accessible. And for that, there is another visibility setting called protected. And so we could consider making our width and our height protected. And if we do that, then this code is perfectly happy. Now, shape could not get to the mutable squares width or height, and it couldn't get to the mutable rectangles width or height because protected is not generally visible, but it is visible inside of the subtypes. And I'm not really certain why this is giving me the error this time. Let's force a recompile there. Okay, now, having said this, you generally shouldn't use protected all that much. And part of the reason is that things that are protected really aren't all that protected. Uh, you have no control, in general, over what becomes a subtype. And there's actually something in Scala called sealed. You can make sealed traits and you can uh, limit what is able to be subtypes, but as a general rule you can't. When I wrote this mutable rectangle, we made mutable square be a subtype, but someone could have written a different subtype of it. And so when you make something protected, you're effectively opening it up to any anyone who wants to create a subtype of it. So we don't use protected all that much. In this particular case, there's probably an alternate solution which might work well for us. You can use protected to give you access to the data inside of the, the subtype, um, but in many situations you might want to consider other alternatives instead.